Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here. So today we're talking about a simple drill or something that you can do with basically any hitting drill that will really help you and help you figure out how I want my barrel to be working through the zone. So a lot of times when we talk about barrel path or bat path, a lot of people focus on whether that's going to be up through the ball or down through the ball. And that's really important. We want to turn our barrel behind the ball and be able to get it to be slightly up through the hitting zone. But there's more than just being slightly up. I also want to be from the inside out. So I want to attack everything from the inside and feel like my barrel is moving slightly away from my body. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that we're trying to just push the ball to the opposite field. But when I start to turn back here, I want my barrel to feel like it's going to work from the inside, and then I can let my barrel out whenever I need to do so. And so to help us kind of visualize that, we use one of these markers right here. Now, if you're from a, a colder climate area, this is used that you put in the ground during the winter, make sure your plow doesn't uh, run over your grass. Okay, and so I'm sure that you can figure out another way to do this, but these are really easy. I get mine at the Home Depot or Lowe's. They cost like a dollar. We've got a ton of them over here. And so what we do is we lie this down on the plate. And so it gives the hitter a visual so they can see their barrel working. I just say, try to get down the line. Try to get your barrel to work down the line before it turns left. So if we have, let's move the T here for a second. Okay, so I had to move the plate back a little bit, but we're just gonna kind of lay it right here. All right, so I have it slightly angled to right center field for a righty. If you're a lefty, it's gonna be slightly angled to left center field. All right, so let's put it back like this, all right, right there. So, when I'm hitting now, I'm thinking about feeling my barrel, when I start to turn everything deep, I want to feel like my barrel is going to be from the inside and it's going to work down that line right there, okay? So if I do turn the barrel deep here, and I don't want to get into exact hitting mechanics because we've made so many videos about that, so I don't want to reiterate that over and over again. Go check out our other videos um, if you haven't seen those yet. But if I'm able to start to turn my barrel deep, I'm starting to get palm up early. Well then, I'm gonna be from the inside. And now, I can work my barrel, again, down that line. And I wanna feel like I can get all the way down that line before I start to turn left. Now if you've got a barrel path, or bat path, that works the opposite, so you get out and away early, and you start to cut this way. So instead of being from in to out, you're out to in, or down to the ball. You're gonna be out, your barrel's gonna get away from you, out to in. So you can see the difference here when your barrel's working this way, to the left, and not down that line, and then you follow through, okay? So really, really important. If I'm able to do this, I'm able to drive the ball with authority to the opposite field. I'm able to now cover the entire plate. Again, if your barrel works out to in, well then you don't cover the outside part of the plate. You cover, you might cover the inside part of the plate, but you'll probably hook spin a lot of balls, roll over a lot of balls, and pull a lot of balls that shouldn't be pulled when you're working out to in, okay? Again, when you're working in to out, when your barrel feels like you're swinging away from your body and not across your body. Well now, I can hit that ball. If that ball is away and I'm inside and it's away, boom, I can let it out and hit it away. If I'm turning it from the inside again and it's middle, well then I can let it out and hit the ball middle. And if it's in and I start to turn the ball deep from the inside, well I can just keep going down the line and then I can get in here. So I can get the ball away, I can get the ball middle, I can get the ball in. I can cover the entire hitting zone. I can't do that if my barrel's getting away early because then it's going to cut across, okay? So again, 
we use this line just to give us a visual to the hitter. Stay down that line. Swing away from your body. Be from the inside out. Okay? And again, that does, that does not mean that I'm just trying to do that. Okay? I'm not just trying to hit a ball, a ground ball to the second baseman. I'm driving the ball. I can drive the ball when I start to turn my barrel deep from the inside. I can drive it to the right center. I can drive it to the middle. I can drive it to my pull side. Okay? And you can do this for anything. You can do it with a tee. You can do a soft toss, front toss, live, batting. Or you can do it with a uh, machine. It really doesn't matter. So try that out. If you're somebody that feels like your barrel path is not from the inside, you, you just feel like you're around the ball. You're always hook spinning the ball. This will allow you to get through the hitting zone, put better spin on the ball, be able to hit the ball to all fields and hit it aggressively with some authority um, instead of just flaring the ball to the right field if you're a righty. If you feel like you just flare the ball the opposite way, you can't drive it, you're probably cutting across and just ball's coming here, my barrel's coming this way, and I just flay the ball off to the opposite field. Instead of being inside it, behind it, then I drive the ball to the opposite field. Okay, so try that out. It's a real simple, simple thing, but it makes a lot of difference, especially for players that don't really understand what their path is doing. This will help them visualize staying through the ball from the inside. So hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you to our patrons patrons for supporting us on Patreon, hit the notification bell, and that's all we have. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.